it sometimes. Yeah. It's over, it's all over. The nose is bleeding. <laughs> but the computer doesn't say anything. It's a draw. Actually, Kazor, the more veteran fighter, he's 25 years old. Amran Akbari, just 19. But Kazor is engaging in the wrong kind of contest for this. He's coming in, he's trying to wrestle. This is just killing clock for him right here. We to have a decision in ring B. Get into the in bear the 51 hug. Weight Can't class, score here. The, and the referee the corner, is allowing them to work their way out of it there. So these are long periods where nothing is happening for him. And when you're behind, you don't need the long tie-ups. And it, the longer we watch this bout, the more apparent it becomes that Rafael Kazor is getting very frustrated with his inability to do really anything with Amran Akbari. His style not suited to fight this kind of fighter. And now they're mixing it up a little bit, and the pole was able to score there with a big right hand. But Akbari with, still with a 9-5 lead, and Rafael again scores. So a little bit of a renaissance here. Coming straight ahead, he still manages to get two. Just imagine if he could put the jab hand out, what it would do for him. Nonetheless, despite engaging what has been the wrong kind of contest for him, he's close to within two and gotten himself back in the fight and deserves a lot of credit for that because this bout was on the verge of getting away from him. It sure was. Quite a resurgence now. Now it, Blood, you can see on the right side of the, the face from Botswana, the judges of Rafael Kazor. Again, a courtesy of that bloody and nose. And we may see the referee send him to his corner once again. But he's got one second remaining, and that's the end of the round, so they'll be able to treat it here. And what a comeback by Rafael Kazor of Poland. Down at 1.92, now it's 9.8. Let's look, take a look at some of the points and how he scored here, Dave. Well, did he wear his opponent down? Did his opponent just get tired? Here he is. He's down six points in the final minute. But there's two coming back at him. Able to collect a couple. Good right hand. Driving his opponent back. And Kazor pouring it on. But even with that, imagine some jabs and imagine being able to throw a left hook from an angle. And, and not have to wrestle after each one. To credit him for coming back is a, a great round for him. And it, it's a tough bout the way he's engaging it, but he's right there. Outponed Amran Akbari, five to one, and trails by one going into the fourth and final round, nine eight. So this should be interesting. We're in the round of 16, winner moves on to the quarterfinals. So much at stake here at the World Boxing Championships here in Chicago, Illinois. Kazor is going to try and win this bout with sheer strength, which based on his style is something he believes he has more of than Akbari, and he's come all the way back, and, and this strategy has worked for him. Two consecutive scoring blows was 10-9. Akbari able to score, it's 10-10. This is gonna be an interesting final round. Well, we talk about dancing with who brung you. This is a style for Kazor that had him in trouble halfway through round three. And now it's a style that might be escorting him into the final eight. Well, right now he has a 12-10 lead. And is this a function of Amran Akbari, who was fighting very in a classy style, running out of steam here? That is partially the problem. He's being outmuscled by a guy with more upper body strength because for Akbari, remember he was picking Kazor off in the early part of the bout. And now that jab hand has disappeared for him. And with that jab hand disappearing, now Kazor is walking straight in and has that room to punch. In the first two rounds, the jab by Akbari would stop Kazor from being able to walk in. It would disrupt his rhythm. There's no disruption there. That mouth open, breathing through his mouth. One certainly sign that uh, he's tiring out a bit. And now he's going to get a break because the mouthpiece of Kazor came out. Now this is going to provide an additional maybe 30 seconds for the boxers. And if you're the tired boxer, 
you should come storming out of here because well, you've been just given an edge. You saw Akbari take a big, deep breath. Maybe the last oxygen he'll, he'll get here in the final 32 seconds. He trails Kazor from Poland by two points, 13 to 11. And he, and he just got a one minute break and a two point penalty to tie it all up. And what was that for? Because I didn't see anything. Unusual turnaround. Nothing had been indicated before the break. That's a tough break for... Was it because Mark he spit Bart. his mouthpiece out or... But that should have been called. Now we have another one. And looks like we have our makeup call. Because each boxer has been assessed a two-point differential. And because computers cannot subtract, only add when a boxer is fouled or commits an infraction, the boxer that is fouled gets two points added to a score. Well, two extremely questionable calls, but they were back to back, and each one went to a different boxer. So fortunately, those calls do not become a factor. And Kazor able to duck the big punch thrown by Akbari. Akbari went to the ground, one second to go here, and that's it here in round number four. And a tremendous comeback, improbable comeback, you might even say, by Rafal Kazor of Poland. There are eight minutes of boxing, and after five minutes, this bout was in Akbari's pocket, and Kazor was able to reach down and take it out. He deserves a lot of credit for that. It's a very difficult thing to do. And he stayed with a style. He had variations of it, but he stayed with a style that wasn't working because he believed it was good for him. And ultimately it was, despite the bloody nose, despite the two points that were added to Akbari's score, although he received two as well. We have a decision at ring well, A. Akbari stopped punching. Weight class, the winner and that in helped the blue corner, Kazor keep coming. So 25-year-old Rafal Kazor of Poland adds another notch in his boxing belt, so to speak, as he defeats Amran Akbari of Iran, and he is moving on to the round of eight. Trailing early, he came from behind to win it, 17-13. This bout in the welterweight division, 69 kilograms. That announcement you heard was for ring A. We are in ring B. You see the Canadian.